Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to be recapping the latest episode of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Season 13, Episode 8. So the group is still in Jersey Shore. The girls are there with their husbands. Dolores FaceTimes Polly to catch up because he's not there. Melissa's house is like the shady house. Well, they're all shady, but remember, her house is her, Jackie, and Margaret. So can you imagine? So they're sort of talking about Jennifer Aiden. Melissa tells her how the conversation went with Danielle over the brother. And Jackie keeps insinuating that there's more to the story. Rachel, Dolores, and Jen Fiesler are in the other house. They also think that there's more to the story. And then Jennifer is holding Teresa and Danielle. And they're talking about what went down last night as well as Danielle still being mad that she is also upset now with Margaret and Rachel because she's kind of seeing them in a different light. Another topic of conversation is Melissa's mom. Margaret tells Melissa more about what Teresa talked to her about, but she also tells them that last night Louie did try to invite the mom, but she left. And they are not buying it. Melissa and Jose said that he's trying to be sneaky about that. So then, for the first time, they reveal why Louie and Joe can't stand, stand each other. So allegedly, Joe and Louie had a business dealing, and according to, to, to Teresa, Louie lost like half a million dollars due to joe and then when joe demanded the money back from the deal it was like a major conflict because they said that it was his fault but then joe of course has a different version that he shares saying that louis screwed him over it was a pizza business so Teresa obviously sided with her fiance at the time so it all makes so much sense now why there was so much resentment or there is still so much resentment between them so Joe and Melissa are doing their thing, playing the victim, and then Melissa's even insinuating that maybe they stole money from Joe. This is so messy. Anyway, they're getting ready for the day. They're going to have another party at the house that Rachel is in. Jen, Fessler, and Dolores are also staying there, like I said. Jackie is bringing up Danielle again about the drama, about Jennifer's personal business. And regardless of how they stand in the moment, Dolores doesn't want them to bash Jennifer. So I was like, wow, that's a really good friend. And it shows you that she still cares about her. Rachel's shady husband, though, asks Joe if he saw the video that Louie posted last night. They watched it, and then Joe decides to do a video of his own and also be shady and post it. Then Teresa, Jennifer, and Daniela arrive. Everyone's, like, cooking, hanging out. Jennifer sort of extends an olive branch to Dolores. That was nice to see. But Margaret and Danielle talk because Margaret is feeling some way because Danielle said that Margaret was an arsenal waiting to explode. Now, Rachel was the one who told Margaret that Danielle said that. So she brings Rachel into the conversation. And Danielle tells Rachel that she is clearly making something out of nothing and wants something to happen between them. And Danielle says, well, your friends have been saying things about you. And that's why I said it. But it wasn't like a bad thing. It was just like, you know, just light talk. And Danielle is now redirecting her anger to Rachel and tells Rachel that she has also been talking mess. And Rachel says, okay, tell me what I said then. Say it right now. And Danielle says nothing because Rachel didn't truly say anything. Danielle has no other option but to apologize to Margaret. And it looks like Danielle and Rachel were having like a special bond, but I guess not. There's like petty little side chats going around about Melissa and the mom and the wedding and whatever. Then Louis pulls Melissa to the side to talk. He holds her hand while doing so, which was a little bit weird. But he's talking, like I said, about the mom and inviting and kind of where they stand. And somewhere else, they bring Teresa into the conversation and also Danielle. And they start to talk about what happened. Danielle says that she's furious about them talking about her and her brother. She thinks that they're overstepping, even though she shared it with the group. So what did she expect? And Jackie says that the story makes no sense. Well, everyone is low-key saying that, but Jackie's the most vocal. And Danielle, yet again, walks out, just like she did last night. The group is telling Teresa that she is wrong over Melissa's mom and how she didn't invite her, yada, yada, yada. And she gets pissed. And she even snaps at Rachel. So then Teresa goes over to the conversation that Louis is having with Melissa, and she comes very heated. But Louis actually reprimands her and says that she can't just barge into conversations with that attitude so she leaves and joe then joins the conversation but again teresa's with the girls and she tells him that joe and melissa need therapy that melissa has daddy issues and jackie 
underneath her breath says, That's so rude. And Teresa snaps, tells her to shut the F up and to get out of her face. But I do gotta give props to Louis because he's really trying to make things right with the siblings. Teresa joins again. And before you know it, they're arguing. Because Teresa is still very hurt that Melissa is friends with Margaret. And Melissa and Joe are hurt that she's friends with Jennifer. It's crazy. It looks like they're never going to get anywhere. Teresa gets up, storms out, tells Joe to just fix it. You do it because she can't be talking to these people no more. But then she does come back eventually. Then Joe and Melissa are saying that Teresa is mean. She has hate in her heart. And then Joe and Melissa get up and leave. Melissa rudely says, well, maybe we'll go to therapy like you suggested. And Teresa says, yeah, you need therapy. Maybe we would be a happy family if you did. I gotta say, I'm on Teresa's side on this because all that Melissa and Joe were doing was insulting Teresa. Teresa, even though, and I'm not even a Teresa fan like that. I think that she's been wrong many times. But even though she was a little bit mad, she was kind of willing to open and talk about it. But they just weren't. So, like I said, they left. Then Margaret joins Teresa to talk because they are in a better place. Then, isn't this crazy? Turns out that Melissa can't get her car out of the driveway because Louis' car is behind theirs. So, Joe has to come back. And when he sees that Teresa and Margaret are together talking, he screams sarcastically, Wow, you're sitting next to Margaret, the one that supposedly ruined our families. And then he starts to, like, get very mad and he, like, kind of touches Louis. And Louis says, oh, like, get him away from me because I'm about to punch him in the face. But Louis calms down and then he calms Joe down. And then on the driveway, Louis keeps, you know, saying that he loves them to Melissa and Joe and that he wants them to be all a happy family. But, you know what, if Joe and Melissa aren't willing to put anything on their part, then there's nothing you can do. That was the end of the episode. Then we got the mid-season trailer. Thank God that this that this show, Real Housewives of New Jersey, is usually has shorter seasons because I can't take any more of this. I think this story between Joe, Melissa, Louie, and Teresa, this rivalry has run its course. It's been years of the same thing. Melissa and Teresa. Somebody said it on social media. It's going to be either or. Either Teresa stays or either Melissa stays. So we can't have them together anymore. But you guys let me know what did y'all think about this episode. I do think that it was better than last week's. Because last week's was pretty boring. But what do you think about Louis? Do you like that he's trying to make things right? What do you think about Joanne Melissa? What do you think about Danielle really being mad at the women over the brother story? And do you agree that Melissa and Teresa's fight all the time is getting a little bit stale? Let me know in the comments. Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.